What is body language? When we learn a new language, we sometimes focus really hard on understanding the words and forget to pay attention to the other ways people communicate. When we speak, we use words, as well as pitch, pace and volume, to communicate our meaning. We also use our bodies to help communicate what we mean and how we feel. Our facial expression, or the emotion that shows on our face, our stance, or how we position our body, and our gestures, or how we move our hands, arms and head, all help listeners understand us. This is called body language. Everyone uses it, no matter where they come from. You can tell a lot about what someone is saying or feeling by observing their body language. Let's look at some examples of gesture. Even without hearing the words, we can get some idea of what the speaker means. Watch how the speaker gestures from one side to the other. This might show he is contrasting two opposite ideas or moving to a new topic. Notice here how the speaker opens his palm to the audience, then points to them. He could be asking his audience a question or gesturing to them to engage them in his topic. Does your language and culture use gestures more or less often than English? Are any of the gestures different? Are they bigger or smaller movements? When you are listening to a high-level speaker of English, watch their gestures. This way, you can learn what is appropriate when you speak English. Gestures are mostly our hands, but how do speakers use their feet? And their faces? Look at this speaker's stance. That means how he stands and moves his whole body. When you're giving a presentation, moving on your feet makes you look relaxed and interesting. Too much walking is distracting, though. Now look at the eye contact of this speaker. Notice how he looks frequently at the person he's talking to. That shows interest and confidence. Watch the speakers again. As you watch, copy their body language. Does it feel natural to you? Do you ever use these gestures or these facial expressions when you are speaking? You can see from the examples that body language doesn't have definite rules about what a gesture or expression means, but observing the body language of a lecturer or presenter can really help you follow what they are saying. So next time you listen to your teacher, pay attention to their body language. And next time you present to the class, think about what your body is saying. Now complete the quiz to show your teacher what you understand.